First off, I want to publicly apologize. I didn't want to score the last touchdown. Tennessee Tech. We don't do style points. We didn't throw the ball in the fourth quarter. We tried not to do that. We were getting ready to just take a knee three times. That's not the program that we are, period. I did not want to score 60. I don't think he's very happy with me. I understand he's upset, but the bottom line to it is we didn't try to do that. So enough is will. What else you got? 2-0. Oh. It's what you're supposed to do to a 1AA team. So if you guys want me to be excited, we made too many mistakes. Doesn't matter what the score is. Ran a kickoff back, had a, we had a block in the back. Had a long punt return, had a block in the back. So. Too many holdings, too many jumps, too many false formations, too many wrong things. They need to start acting like the fourth-ranked team in the nation. At some point in time, they got to take ownership. Bigger ball games starting with Baylor this week, you can't make those kind of mistakes. We're happy we're 2-0. Oh. I'm not unhappy, but we, we got things we've got to make sure that we take care of. Did you like what you saw with any of the younger guys that you got playing time? Sure. Not really. I mean, we played a lot of guys. The biggest thing is we, we didn't get anybody hurt in the game. We got a lot of people to play, and we went about our business. I don't know. Bottom line is you can. It doesn't matter when you're playing. What the score is, that's not, that's not how we do things around here. I'm not unhappy. Let me just get it straight. But I'm not going to come in here and jump up and down. We're 2-0. and oh. That's all we are. I was really excited for um, a lot of our younger kids, like Hightower, which, you know, he's been here a fifth-year senior. I mean, we were just running the fullback play to – to get a, to move it a couple yards, and he cuts back, and they don't have anybody there, and he scores a touchdown. I mean, that's – anyway, I'm glad for him. You want to talk about somebody, talk about Hightower, because he's been doing it for five years and never gets any credit. Fifth-year senior, he's going to get his engineering degree and never gets to play, but always is on the practice squad and gets beat up and all those kind of things that goes along with all those guys. And uh, nobody knows – you don't even know who he is. Pretty much. It was not called to get a touchdown. I just don't, I, 27 years I've been on the other end of it. I just don't like those kind of games. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I'm on, on this side of it, but I don't like those kind of games. They got to come back and play on a Thursday. You guys got to realize you're not going to get one double A teams to play you if, if they think you're going to run up score. Then if you can't play those kind of teams, then you can't go play Oregon State's early because you can't play that kind of – you can't play them back to back to back. It all goes – it all goes in cycles. You've got to be smart about what you do. So not shake your hand? No, he's fine. I mean, it's nothing like it. Don't read anything into it, Stephen. We won 62 to 7. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be happy either because I got beat 62 to 7, so. He's a good man. My, my problem is he's a friend of mine, okay? He's one of those guys I've learned from when I was a young head coach. And I, you know, you hate to be in games like that. It turns out like it does. That's the bottom line to it. I don't think either side had anybody get hurt, which is the positive. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I, well, number one, we, we know who's coming up. We know it's Baylor, so enough said. Well, he's just running the offense. I mean, it's, he's taking what defenses give him and 
you know, he, he looks stupid on one throw because the guy's not looking. <laughs> He's going to throw a pass and the guy's not looking. I mean... Oh, no, I mean, it's the worst part about it is we just gave because they ran the triple option so much, which we were prepared for. Now we gave Air Force film to watch to see how we're going to play it. So as far as that's concerned, I'm not very happy about that. Did they beat BYU? We'll have all we want. We hurt his ankle. He didn't practice all week, and so if we didn't need him, we weren't going to play him. Same with Antoine Hicks. Uh, you know, he'll be back next week. Uh, probably Luttrell won't be back next week. So who else was not didn't play much? No, I mean, every day, I, I told you last week after the game, I, I really thought the young guys would get a lot better between week game and week two. And they did, I think. But it might be the competition, too. So we'll, we'll have to see and be able to look at it and see what's going on with it. But, I mean, it's, it's good. Every time, every game we can win and our young players can get a chance to play more and see more, then the better chance we have at becoming better as a football team, which is what you're supposed to do in your non-conference schedule, is to be able to do that. Oh, no, I didn't even think about Crawford. He showed a long time ago that he didn't belong at TCU. If you want a negative. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, Wayne's playing like a senior. You know, I'm really excited about Corey and Kelly. And really, I mean, we're, we rotated quite a few guys. Again, we played eight or nine, def eight or nine, ten defensive linemen again tonight. So, I mean, it's every time we can keep playing guys and they can get more work and more work, the better we're going to get. Did you feel like the, the heat started affecting them? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they practice. I mean, I, I lived in Cookville, Tennessee. They know how to practice in the heat. Trust me. Southeast part of the United States is just as human as it is here. I think the hardest thing they had is they, they had to play Arkansas back to back with us. That's hard for them to do. You know, it's they they're gonna they're gonna win football games this year. Can you talk about the challenges that Robert Griffin presents? Oh, I'm not gonna talk about Baylor yet. We just got done with this one. He's fast. Got a great arm, got an S on his chest. Is that enough? Ross set a school record for PATs made. Yeah, but he missed one. How's that? I'm gonna tell you, about time you guys get you get real joyous as a coach and think because one of these games you'll be just as sad the next week. So we ain't going anywhere right now. I've already taken my computer home. When I leave here, I'm taking a shower, and I'm going home and watching Baylor. I'm not enjoying this game at all. It's time to move forward. 3 o'clock next Saturday, we're gonna, we got to stop a very potent offense, and we need to on our own home field and got to get ready to play. So.